How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we react to why scientists are puzzled by this virus by in a nutshell. All right, so to keep Science Month continuing, you know, obviously I'm gonna keep going until the end, but like, I'm just really fascinated in this subject, not because I know like that much about it, like I know little to nothing about the human body itself, you know, but like space and stuff is my forte when it comes to like science and like totally geeking out, but you could argue that like your body is essentially a universe in itself, you know, there's like a bunch of like billions and billions of things like coexisting and co-working together to just like make you move essentially like keep you alive so it's really really boggling my brain and like every time they talk about like a subject like for instance a virus that scientists are puzzled by that that fascinates me so much you know like almost as much as like space and stuff but essentially like I have no idea what they're talking about or what they're going to talk about and that also fuels me because like I say like in a lot of the science videos like the unknowingness is what I love about science the most like up and foremost that is the number one thing I love so it's like sparks my curiosity and like learning about stuff like anything new is like a guarantee and it like helps you like learn in the long run you know so I'm very excited to get this going so without any further ado here is why scientists are puzzled by this virus. Very recently, scientists How recently? discovered that your body is teeming with trillions of the most bizarre viruses. Oh, these viruses aren't are viruses not bad, enemies, but critical. Never to mind. <laughs> protecting you from disease, maybe even killing cancer. Oh, that's very important. Of science, something truly new that we're only just beginning to Don't understand. Let big pharma know. Let's dive into the wild world of the Again, human Again, man, I know I state this a lot, but the you visuals are, are great. Ecosystem. Yeah, I am. You're a I was just talking about that. Breathing <laughs> ecosystem made of up to 40 trillion well, smaller than cells. a universe, I guess. This metropolis of flesh is home to the human microbiome. Oh. Another 40 trillion bacteria I don't like that the word have flesh. contact with your body. They get to live here, <laughs> and in return, they break down your meals. They synthesize vitamins oh. in your gut, oh, I, I don't want to close up with that. in your mouth, help balance your immune system, and they take up space. This is one dude. Harmful bacteria from getting oh, in. let's go. Team this Mark makes Mark. fragile <laughs> balance. Bacteria really only look out for themselves, multiplying and okay. testing their boundaries. To keep their numbers in check, gonna say your body's ecosystem evil, right? needs a group of deadly predators. Just coexisting. Viruses. At least... 10 trillion. That's a lot of zeros. Everywhere. I'm only the master of one of those. Of thousands of different species. <laughs> at least oh, a few no. trillion live in your gut, where also okay, most so this of part your I actually bacteria do. are. At least 18 billion on your skin, 100 million in each drop of your saliva, oh. dozens of millions in your urinary tract. Love that. Even in a single drop so of we're the cerebrospinal wasted. There's more. fluid surrounding your nerves and brain, researchers found up to 10,000 viruses. Oh. While this sounds like a horrible idea at first, at least in the gut, around 97% <laughs> of them are bacteriophages, or phages, bizarre creatures that are specialized in hunting oh. down and killing resident bacteria oh, let's go. and are not able to infect your cells. Instead, they kill trillions of bacteria every single day. That's a Together, good thing, isn't it? Together, these viruses make up the human virome, a symbiotic virus ecosystem uh, that's completely symbiotic. unique to you and that seems to be crucial for your health. Let's get to know them and see how they support you and what happens if things go wrong. Oh, yes, please. The what do you mean by wrong? murderers of your body. Oh, Inside your thank gut, you for answering my question so suddenly, by the way. floats through the buzzing crowds of bacteria <laughs> looking for a victim. It has six legs, a long, thin body, and a big I've head. I've seen these guys before. Shapes, filled with genetic Watch material. a lot of sci-fi stuff, so. Each species is specialized in hunting one specific species of bacteria. I think it was a cursing video, actually. All others. <laughs> Lambda is looking for Escherichia uh, coli. Uh, who? This versatile bacteria is numerous in your gut, usually a good boy synthesizing oh. vitamins for you. Stay but a good it boy. also has a dark side. Some of them would much rather live inside your flesh and feast on your resources. Huh. If there are too many or if they manage to invade your tissue, they can cause serious oh, diseases. Oh, that's bad. Oh my so God. one of the most important jobs of the virome is to control the numbers of different Let's bacterial get to work. populations. Be good boys, not bad. Them. Let's go. Lander has found a victim. Spider-like legs get hold of a bacteria and grip it hard. Oh. Like an angry syringe, it violently rams Jesus. its sharp bottom <laughs> into the victim's the body and releases its DNA. Once inside, the proteins disable the defenses of the bacterium. Oh. It is now a factory under I was about to say, hit him where it hurts, man, on the inside. Until the victim is filled <laughs> up and bursts open, releasing a horde <laughs> of fresh lambda viruses. But its goal Imagine if is that was a not human genocide. Body. Phages oh. need a healthy population of bacteria to survive. So sometimes they choose a way more sinister tactic. Instead more sinister than victim, that? The virus integrates oh. its DNA into I can see where this is going. I oh, said symbiotic. When the bacteria multiplies, the virus DNA is multiplied hey. too. 
Until one day the viral DNA reawakens no. and suddenly decides to kill <laughs> oh its God. unsuspecting victim. And here things it become exciting. Your virus is will also born into it. It's in its best interest oh. that you're healthy. So some viruses Hopefully. inject genes into bacteria that actively make them support your body. Some oh. force their bacteria hosts to support your gut's mucus layer, break down complex carbohydrates from your food more efficiently. It's like if you're not going to be a good boy, I'm going to make you be against one. Inflammation. And they alter what signals bacteria send to your immune cells. Basically, they're letting them know we <laughs> have things under control. <laughs> I'm you chill. Can chill out. This Don't kill me, please. Allergic reactions We're doing our job. Protect you against autoimmune diseases. Oh, but of course, I was going to ask what they help with, but to this story. apparently everything. Some viruses don't care about our health. Instead of helping, it they turn seems to be a trend with these guys. Deadly monsters. Okay. When viruses turn bacteria into killers. Weren't they already Some like on the verge? Bacteria phage <laughs> carry dangerous genes for toxic substances. When they take over their hosts, they can integrate into the genetic code of Not the bacteria, the where they lay as a deadly gift. Like the case of the Vibrio cholerae and the CTX5 bacteria. Uh, you look a little different, buddy. Most strains of the cholerae bacteria are harmless, and billions of them may live in your gut right now. When CTX5 infect the bacteria, they gift them the genes for the cholera toxin, which permanently becomes part of their genetic lineage forever. Oh. It's like handing a house cat. I was going to question gun. permanent. Oh, I'm sorry. The cholera shower these toxins at the cells lining your gut. Oh, man, the way you explain things is perfect. They vomit large amounts of salt, which pulls out a flood of water into your intestines. This well, causes mm -hmm. explosive diarrhea. Explosive, you say? Draining your body of fluid. Oh, thank you for censoring. <laughs> about half of patients die. Oh my for the god! Phage and bacteria, this is great. They're carried out of the body to infect. I guess for the bacteria, bacteria yeah, would be. And multiplying oh my further. god! This strain of Vibrio I thought explosive diarrhea was like a enemy of funny humanity, thing on cartoons. This virus. Or the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus, which is hunted <laughs> by the phage with the amazing in? name Phi SA three MS. Usually the bacteria is mostly harmless and lives on your skin and inside your nose. It doesn't do anything useful per se. Its main job is to take up space, making it harder for hostile bacteria to colonize your body. Okay. But Phi SA3 literally like change the ozone coating. layer or something. It carries multiple oh, dangerous genes. That's a little bit like flamethrowers and grenades. If such a modified I don't want to picture my cat having those weapons, into thank your body you. Through a tiny cut, it becomes extremely dangerous. Well. One of its new weapons are super antigens, which basically is like injecting your immune cells with cocaine. The toxin Alrighty. completely breaks your carefully fine-tuned immune system. That's bad. It activates all of your T-cells all at once. Anything affecting the immune out. system is terrible, they release man. release a tsunami of cytokines, activating all of your defenses at once. Oh. The infection is flooded body with cells that germ? can't fight the bacteria. Never and mind, they can't fight it. Your broken and confused immune cells have a really hard time fighting Staphylococcus aureus, oh. which now invades, penetrating deep into your tissue. Your body is trying to seal the wounds and isolate the invader, but another new weapon it gained has the ability to just dissolve the barriers. I was about to say, did they just go deeper. through it? Before the onset of antibiotics, an infection with Staphylococcus aureus was very deadly. And yeah. we have Phi SA3 MS to thank <laughs> for making it even deadlier. I but hate the you. I used to love you. May also directly save your life by killing cancer. Cancer killing viruses. I guess you have to be evil to kill the evil thing, right? Cancer, oh my like god. Like the Newcastle disease virus or the Rio virus, who mostly ignore your healthy cells and instead hunt down tumors. Oh. Cancer cells are broken mutants oh. that evolve various uh, ways to hide and fight back against your immune system. But as they get better oh. at this, they get worse at other things, like fighting back viruses. A weakness to be exploited. Uh huh. Oncolytic viruses target the like, oh, you can't deal with viruses, huh? cancer cells, hitting them where they are not ready to be hit. And worse for these cells, since their internal machinery is compromised, <laughs> oh. they can't defend themselves. Oh, they're taken man. over and turned into virus production factories. Eventually, Stop. the new viruses oh. <laughs> leave the cancer cell, often killing it, and carry Good. on infecting other cancer cells nearby. This Hopefully, like, target just the cancer subtle, cells. And one side effect is that it attracts immune cells that immediately begin attacking the tumor with full force. Hey! What's even more impressive, these viruses seem to disrupt the artificial environment that tumors create to keep your immune system at bay. 
Oncolytic viruses are like infiltrators in a city like, no, of siege, opening the gates while killing defenders left and right, helping your immune cells oh, to let's win go. the fight. This is so in positive. 2024, we don't know yet to what Just ignoring all the negative stuff viruses with it. are part of your virome or <laughs> Thanks, more like a happy accident. Yeah. But they seem to go well together with chemotherapy or radiation. Oh. Eventually, they may become an important new tool to enable us to eliminate to cancer and it save way millions better of than lives. Chemo. We don't know what we'll learn in the next few years, but we now know that Hopefully there are trillions all of potential I mean, life isn't like that, obviously, but... and manipulating for better or worse. What an exciting time to be alive. Yeah, I'll say. All of these, like, recent videos, or a vast majority of them, is stuff that's, like, very recent. That is amazing, well, man. That was an interesting ride. I'll say. Are there any more exciting stories? Enter it's quite literally like the necessary evil is a unique new way of learning to kill the most evil cell in a of them all, visual, cancer. And interactive way. Oh, let's go. If you're like us, you're easily focus on the ad. <laughs> scrolling mindlessly. I mean, I technically don't. More videos, scrolling part of the video. On social media, I'll enjoy it. Watching more videos. <laughs> Imprint gives you an outlet that actually makes you feel good about your screen time. Their library offers lessons on oh. all kinds of topics like psychology, I love history, philosophy, finance, productivity, and the more, topics. spanning from quick reads that take you two minutes to run through to 80 unit full lesson courses that you can complete in only five minutes a day as you embark Dude. on a multi week learning journey. To make Based it fun, man, I keep learning, saying that. Like, Kirsty does that for like, like, whole heart. And like, highly interactive approach to learning seems like their sponsors do as well. You learn and enjoy <laughs> the process. We can see why it's been named Google's App of the Year. Oh, Honestly, it's the best way to huge. build a life of learning by turning to it whenever you're waiting in line, on public transport, or just feel like having a Soak moment to yourself. Knowledge. If you want to support Kurzgesagt and invest in your mind with just a few minutes each day, go to the link imprintapp.com slash Kurzgesagt to start your seven-day free trial and get 20% oh. off an annual membership. Not only do you get a seven-day free trial, but you also get 20% off. I missed the quack, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> All right, so I definitely love like topics of or videos of that talk about this topic, man. That's just like the unknowingness that like I had no idea that existed, and like it also coexisted with a bunch of other videos I've seen in the past of Kurtz. Yeah, you know, like talking about the immune system, because like I said in the intro, you know, like your human body is like an enigma to me. Like I, I know more about space than I do our human body, and it's like right here, I am in control of it. Like or at least I think I am. I don't know if I'm my brain or my brain's me, but anyway, like besides the point, man. This is such an informative video like as all of them are because it's just like okay well it's essentially what I said you know in the video it's like we, it's a necessary evil used hopefully used to stop cancer cells and like that is the ultimate deadly thing because our immune system can't tackle it but you introduce these virus guys into the mix and it's just like all right well now the immune system can because we shattered the cancer's defense system essentially like and the way that it's, it's described in the video you know with like the illustrations and like the birds and little tiny like what is it the freaking two hours later the magic skull bus i got it i got it that time <laughs> but anyway like you have that mixed with like all the cells and stuff have faces and stuff it makes it way more enjoyable it makes it like entertaining and then you like essentially you get soaked up the information because of that you're like in more invested in the subject because the illustrations and stuff are so wacky like it's just a win-win on every single front and like i always praise kurt stigat to death because of that because like i love the subjects that school talks about i just hate the class you know like they're just like okay open up a book and read this paragraph like no like you can't soak up information or like some people do mind you but like me talking about my own experience like I don't soak up information like that to me that is so boring and like as soon as I'm done reading that paragraph or like I take the test all that knowledge is gone man like I'm not gonna remember any of that so like what Kirsty does is phenomenal man especially with subjects I have no idea about like they somehow like always seem to make it so cool so refreshing and to that I love them so much so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day and check out the merch so with that said i am the master here that has been fantastic and i'll see you all in the next episode later days <laughs>